Hi, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. We all want to be loved, right? But for many people, the mere idea of letting someone get close appears incredibly frightening and dangerous. The fear of intimacy and also the fear of commitment can pose the greatest obstacles when it comes to creating a healthy and fulfilling relationship. You may be familiar with this pattern. At the beginning when you're with someone, you feel secure, rather confident, and you enjoy being adored and embraced. But as time goes on and you're getting closer, you feel that there is an inner voice rising up from within that makes you doubt yourself, wonder whether you're really good enough, that makes you feel exposed and vulnerable and start distrusting the person that you're with. And eventually, you ask yourself whether the whole relationship is really worth it, and a few self-sabotaging patterns later, everything ends, and you are alone again. And although you could argue that the fear of intimacy tried to protect you, you still ended up getting hurt. As you probably already know, the fear of intimacy doesn't really make rational sense, because it only causes you pain and keeps you stuck in self-sabotaging patterns, such as keeping people on arm's length or choosing those that are not available, emotionally or otherwise. This fear stems from the subconscious mind and is usually anchored in an internal conflict between a part of you that actually wants to be in a relationship, a part of you that wants to love, be loved and have a sense of belonging, and the opposing other side of you that is afraid of relationships, maybe because it sees you as too vulnerable or not good enough, or it perceives other people as not trustworthy and believes that you will inevitably get hurt, betrayed, or abandoned. This anxious part got its imprints usually early in your childhood, where your subconscious mind is completely open to figure out what life is all about. Maybe your parents have been fighting a lot or ended up getting a divorce. Or maybe one of your parents told you you should never trust a man or a woman because you only get screwed at the end. Now how can you resolve an inner conflict that has kept you in a tug of war for a long time? Because you know as soon as you are out of a relationship, the other side that wants to have love is kicking back in, making you look for another chance of getting what that side of you really wants. Well, the good news is, if you're learning to speak the language of the subconscious mind and communicate directly with that deeper part of you, you can actually resolve this inner conflict and gain a sense of wholeness and congruency within one session. It's incredibly powerful to be able to directly connect to these two opposing sides and bring them literally to the same level of understanding. Once you have resolved this conflict, you will feel a sense of peace and clarity when it comes to approaching relationships that you may have never had before. But you can already start healing the fear of intimacy right now. First of all, look back into the past and try to identify your relationship patterns. This could be the people that you choose to be with, the thoughts that are running through your mind over and over again when you feel anxious, insecure, vulnerable. And this can also be the self-sabotaging patterns that make eventually the relationship come to an end. Then I would like you to notice whether any of those patterns could be reflections on how you were growing up. Are any of those thoughts, beliefs, behaviors, something that you may have subconsciously picked up from your parents or other influential figures in your life? Are these patterns and beliefs still serving you? And then I would like you to think about what qualities and behaviors a person needs to have for you to let him or her get close to you. And then finally ask yourself, of whatever qualities you're finding here, 
are you giving those also to yourself? See, the truth is, the fear of intimacy is also a direct reflection on how you are relating to yourself. So whatever qualities and traits you would like to have from others to be willing to open up, ask yourself if you are not first willing to give yourself the same qualities such as commitment, unconditional acceptance and trustworthiness. Because once you are giving yourself what you are looking for from others and you are building a solid foundation of self-appreciation and love, you don't have any longer any fear of intimacy because you know that you are safe and secure within yourself no matter what the circumstances are. If you are interested in working with your subconscious mind on resolving the root causes of your fear of intimacy so that you can build an inner foundation of appreciation and self-love, the individual sessions and classes I'm offering can certainly help you to do so. Just give us a call or send us an email for more information. I certainly would be happy to help you to overcome and heal the fear of intimacy so that you can create the meaningful and fulfilling relationship your heart desires.